Imagine that the dewy green grass vanishes into nothingness, only leaving a parched ground behind. The white, snowy glaciers reveal bare red earth. And the lush plants and trees have not a single speck of vibrant color and bright leaves that it once did. You wait under the tap for hours, desperate, only to find the bounty of one drip. Your throat is so dehydrated, it starts to become tender and sore. Though we are not living in this difficult lifestyle, the time is near if we continue to use water unwisely. Water is crucial to the survival of all living things. But did you know that only 2.5% of the world's waters is fresh water? And only 1.2% out of that 2.5% of fresh water is safe to drink. The rest is undrinkable. Suck under glacier, soil, ice caps, and permafrost. Here in Canada, we are lucky. We simply turn on a lever, the tap, to get uncontaminated and drinkable water. But in the future, it may not be so simple. Every year, that precious 1.2% of fresh water is diminishing. And current studies show that around 2050, all fresh water in the world will vanish, threatening all human and animal populations. Those are harsh predictions. So what can we all do? We need to be conscious of our use of water and start saving water as the precious resource that it is. Saving water isn't difficult. You can still help the world significantly by just doing simple actions. Turning the tap off only takes a second. Taking a one minute shorter shower is just as easy as making toast. And collecting rainwater isn't too hard. And we can all start now. Let me share with you some simple ways to conserve water that our family does at home. Collecting rainfall is the first step. We are fortunate to live in Vancouver, where the average rainfall is over 50 inches, or in other words, 1,200 millimeters. So collecting rainwater isn't just important. It is also easy. In our family, we have buckets, large containers, and water barrels we put on the pavement. We collect the rainwater and reuse it to wash our car and to water our plants. It's simple, effective, and efficient. Secondly, we can store and reuse water. I'm sure we all like to have warm showers, but we all know that the water isn't immediately warm when we turn the shower on. What happens to all that water? Do we just let it go down the drain? Why? We could save that water and reuse it later. In our family, we have buckets we use to collect that water. And we reuse the water to wash our hands, wash the produce, and mop the floors. We can just simply turn the tap off when we brush our teeth. 
learned from my parents early on to not leave the tap on while brushing. And this helped me save, more or less, 35,000 liters of water in total. And let's not forget leaky taps. We should fix them because they waste about 300 liters of precious water in just one day. And while you're waiting for the plumber, collect that water and reuse it. We can save titanic amounts of water if we are just slightly more mindful in our day-to-day -day lives. We are just one household. But together, our collective actions can make a lasting impact. So make it your responsibility to save water every day. We have the future in our hands, and the first step is to take action. I hope you will join me in transforming our wasteful water habits into one of conscious conservancy. Thank you.